Hey team, how you doing? Alex Swenson here. Thanks for joining me today. Question for you. Are you holding yourself to a higher standard? And maybe you think that you shouldn't be holding yourself to a higher standard. You're just trying to figure everything out, trying to find the best method and the best path to go down. Well, I want to talk about that today. And I want to talk about living by a code, your own personal code. And what we talk about today is from a lens of a scout and coach and recruiter and being that student athlete and what I have seen to help either when it was myself or really good student athletes make it to either the next level or just going about it the right way. Because understand, if we don't have a code, we don't have an objective, we don't have a standard to live by, we are just wandering. We do not want to wander in life because there's a lot of wrong directions out there and we wanna make sure we're following a good direction, a good path. And a code helps us do that, okay? Because we can deviate easily, we can make mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes, all right? But that code can get you back on alignment. So hey, if you get anything from the day, I would love to hear from you any comments any questions that you have down below um, and please select like and subscribe I put out a weekly video but let's dive in today and again take today take as much as you want from here but create your own and write down your own it does not take long guys it does not take long at all but create your own code please so let's dive into the first one the elite student athlete wakes up early this sets the tone of the day you can accomplish so much more if you just wake up early and that counts on weekends this took me a long time to understand but hey guys if you can whether you're a teenager or you're an adult but if you can wake up early and rock and roll and get your objectives done your to do's done this can set the tone uh, in such a good way for your day okay there's so many benefits to this waking up early don't think of it as an early morning Set it up with your night. What I mean by that is if you want to be successful waking up early because it's hard, it's hard for me, you got to set up your night routine, okay, and go to bed consistently at a time. So I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, but I go to bed at 9.30 every night, okay? I put my son down at 7.30, and then I have two hours of work and everything like that, and 9.30, lights out, I'm done, I'm waking up at 5, I get seven and a half hours, okay? And now I'm rocking and rolling, okay? But I'm only successful at that because I set up my night, okay, and I, I have lights out at 9.30. The elite student-athlete essay, by the way, is student-athlete, studies to learn and gain knowledge. Studies and learns to gain knowledge. Guys, you should be learning. This should never stop, okay? And I'm not just talking about uh, academics and in school, but just in life in general. Of course, we want to get the best grades that we can have. We want to make sure we're paying attention in class and getting good grades, etc. But you should be learning out of classroom, uh, social skills, right? How to communicate with people, how to talk to people, how to, uh, how to again, learn as much as we possibly can from other people, learning other things, maybe about money or the things that are not necessarily taught in school. And again, you're gonna learn and gain knowledge in the sport that you're playing, right? That is fantastic, okay? But you gotta really dive in and try to be open-minded as much as you can. Learn from other coaches. Again, don't just listen to one strategy, listen to a bunch of strategies so you can be a filter and take what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Because I could tell uh, a baseball player this, this one baseball player, and then tell a different baseball player, and it only works for one of them, and another strategy works for the other, okay? Be open-minded, try new things, okay? The elite student athlete works on skills, exercises, and eats healthy to be a strong and fast athlete, okay? Hey, works on the skill set. So again, if you're a baseball player, you're working on your particular position, okay? And diving in and trying to improve your skills there. You're exercising, you're training. You need to be in the weight room. It's very, very key, okay? And of course, you need to be eating healthy. Do not make it complicated. Stick with your meats, your vegetables, your fruits, and a lot of water with some salt with those electric lights, okay? Uh, the elite student athlete treats people with respect, leads by example, and helps others whenever possible. This just comes down to being a good person and trying to be the best leader that you can. I always recommend, especially to young student athletes, how to be a better leader. It's just first leading by example and respecting others, working hard, and helping others, okay? That just being a good person and going out of your way to do those things, going out of your way to help others, that is a leader, okay? 
take, uh, the elite student athlete stays organized and is always ready for action. Organization, organization, organization. Whether it's in schoolwork, whether it's at home, whether it's in the, the, on the field, you want to be organized so you're ready when you need to be. You know where everything is, okay? And then the next one, this is very important. The elite student athlete thinks ahead and is humble. Guys, think ahead. Anticipate what's going to be happening in the classroom, on the field, at home. Think ahead because if you think ahead, you are ready for it and you're going to perform better in whatever it is, all right? You're going to be ready for it, okay? This kind of goes back to our last point. You're ready for that action, okay? And I love to think about it as you're going to think ahead and reflect in kind of at the same time. What I mean by that is reflect is reflect on the situations that have occurred like this in the past before because you can think ahead, all right, well, it's gone this way before. I can kind of anticipate this situation, okay? You're thinking ahead by the past experiences that you had, okay? And the last one, the elite student athlete works hard and always strives for his or her best. But put in the work. You guys know this. You have to work hard. You have to be disciplined. I could have definitely added discipline there. And I would recommend adding discipline to you because what is discipline? Discipline, it means basically staying consistent with what you're doing, even when it's hard, even when you do not want to do it. Because motivation, you might get motivated after this video, right? To write down your codes and get rock and roll. But discipline keeps you going because motivation is fleeting. You guys have heard this before. It does not last, but discipline keeps you consistent. Consistent. It keeps you on the path. Live by that. Have that code. Create your own code. I would love to hear whatever codes you live by in the comments below. And please select like and subscribe. Any help that I can give you guys uh, through whatever it is, whether it's the recruiting process or just life in general, please let me know. I'm here to serve as much as I can. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.